Hi, welcome to BuildBox Academy. Today we're going to take a look at the send and receive nodes. Let's go ahead and create a 3D project. Uh, we're going to dive straight into here. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to create a button. Uh, let's add this cylinder. And we're going to work out how to send uh, a message between two objects. So one object will uh, use the send node to send a message and this object will receive the message. So if we go into here, into the 3D model, let's look for the send node. Here it is. So this is the send node. Uh, and let's hook that up. Um, actually, let's, uh, we're gonna, let me add an is touch node uh, because then when we touch the cylinder, that will fire the message. So the event group name uh, is so you can group send and receive nodes together um, because the event name might be the same thing. Um, but uh, we'll leave it as QWE and we'll say change color. So that's the message we're gonna send. We're gonna send change color to the group QWE. Uh, this could be anything. Um, so let's just, we could change this just so you get the idea. We'll change this to color. So now in our other object over here, in our cube, we're gonna to need to add a receive node. So this will receive the message that the, uh, that the cylinder sends. Let's add a change color. Oh, there's the color, set color. Uh, we're going to set a random color. So every time it receives this message, the color will change. Um, and we call this color and change color. So it's in the same event group as the send node. So it's going to, um, so it's listening for any events on this group. And the event name is change color. So when it receives that event, it's going to fire this and it's going to set a random color on our object. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if that's working. Ah, so there we go. Yes. So when we, so I press the cube. So when we press the uh, cylinder, you can see our cube is changing, and that means it is receiving the uh, the message. So now we've got two objects talking to each other, which is which is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and make this a little bit more interesting. And again, we've hit that bug where we try and add another cylinder and uh, it doesn't add it. Let's go again. Nope. I wonder if we can duplicate. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm gonna make this the lower part of the button because I'm gonna turn this uh, cylinder into a button here. So let's go zero, zero, uh, scale 1.2, 1.2. 1.2 uh, and let's move this into place 0 0 0 um, and we're going to move this down so we're, we're making this uh, into a little button here so when we press this uh, hopefully the uh, well it will fire and trigger that so let's uh, let's make this a red nice red button uh, orangey red nice ah okay we've got some issues there and that'll be because both of these are set to um, dynamic so the lower part of the button uh, I'm gonna set that to static or the physics to none actually because uh, that's not that's not gonna do anything that's just for decoration really uh, let's make that like a gray and we want our other cylinder to be uh, we're gonna make that kinematic because we're gonna we're gonna hopefully move this so when we press this button we're gonna uh, it should go down and go back up so to do that we are going to need to add uh, some animation to it uh, so I'm gonna do uh, let's see position animation I think so uh, when it's touched when when that when the cylinders touched um, we are going to let's move let's see uh, is delta we don't want that on 0.5 we're going to speed it up let's see okay that moves it up uh, so if we do minus 0.5 let's see 
yeah okay so the button goes down I'm gonna speed that up even more uh, so when so when that's touched the it animates down then it's gonna send the message uh, but we also need to animate it back so when it's done uh, we want to animate it back to its original position let's try that yeah so you can see it's uh, that's got a one second duration uh, let's change that to 0.5 and this one so it goes down quicker and pops back up yeah although it pops back up position animation uh, let's have a look is popping back up uh, further than it actually than it actually uh, starts out. Let's go and have a look in our 3D world. Uh, ah, here we are. Right, so we're at uh, minus 0 0.1, 2. So we've got the button set there. Let's go back here. Uh, and the, so we want minus 0 0.2, I think. Yes, yeah, so then we press the button. So that's looking good. Um, we could also we can get this to move around. Uh, so when it's so when this is pressed, uh, we want to jump. Oops, we don't want to do that. Uh, let's have a look. Five is going to jump and change its color. Yeah. So you can see the send and receive nodes could be used for uh, a lot of different a lot of different things. Um, so the explode node is always good. So let's uh, we could explode this. Uh, we'll have to go and oh, actually we could just add. Um, let's go ahead in here and we'll just add another asset. Uh, let's see if we can add another cube. Yep, that's going to work. Good. Um, I'm going to go back into our cube. Debris explosion. Debris explosion. Let's add this. Save. Uh, 20 of those. Uh, that is only firing jump debris explosion let's have a look receive explode well, let's have a look I cannot explode into the same asset yes so this is quite a common issue here uh, we should have renamed these to make sure we add the right uh, the right object to the explosion so let's go back in there and add the debris save Let's check that out. Yep, that's looking good. And then of course we need to add the remove node, which we can drag that in there. Let's remove that. Yeah, so our button there will explode that cube. So you can see the send and receive nodes work pretty well and you could do a lot of things with these. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download this file from buildboxacademy.com. All right, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.